Our altcoin of the day is Tron, and it is like this. Kidding. That would be too easy. No, Tron is our altcoin of the day because Tron is a project that shows everything that is both right and wrong in cryptocurrency today. The right. Tron is like a really great movie trailer. It has a huge amount of potential, and it shows it. It has a really great team behind it and lofty aspirations, and if they pull it off, it will be this. The wrong. Tron is like a really great movie trailer. It has a huge amount of potential, and it shows it. It has a really great team behind it and lofty aspirations, and if they don't pull it off, it will be this. Almost every word in the Crypto Traders Dictionary can be applied to the last month of Tron. FOMO, FUD, hype, to the moon, etc, etc. But what is Tron? Tron aims to be a content platform, a social media network, a platform for individual ICOs, where there will be an ecosystem connecting all sorts of people creating all different kinds of content. Tron, in a sense, wants to create Tron, a whole world with its own currency and own community completely decentralized and growing together. That sounds great. So why is there so much rhetoric around Tron? Because reading is hard. The Tron Foundation itself states in their white paper that the project will not be completed for another eight to 10 years. This is part of the right. Too many ICOs out there are rushing to put their product out and push the price of their coin. Tron is taking its time and trying to do it right except for crypto puppies. We're just gonna ignore that. So if Tron's full value and vision won't come to fruition for another eight to 10 years, why are people so excited about it? Well, for one, Justin Sun. Justin Sun is the founder of Tron and listed in Forbes 30 under 30. If you don't know what Forbes 30 under 30 is and you're over 30, check it out. If you don't know what Forbes 30 under 30 is and you're in your late 20s, don't. It's nothing. You're a snowflake, you're perfect, your parents are proud of you, but maybe don't let them read it either. Justin Sun is very active in Tron and it gets a lot of attention partly because of him. This is again, both right and wrong. The wrong of this, a company is not like a pair of shoes. It shouldn't go up in value just because Kim Kardashian wears them. As for the right, a company is not like a pair of shoes. It should have more value when someone active and with an admirable track record is at the helm. Basically, Tron is like if your parents bought you a really nice pair of shoes, but when you open the box, there's only a shoelace inside. You get angry and turn to your parents and demand an explanation, and they tell you that the shoes you chose were not out yet, and they have pre-ordered them for you. You have a choice. You can piss and moan and claim that they said they were already out and that your parents are liars. That's impossible! Or you can suck it up and wait for your shoes like a big kid. While you're waiting, you can do your homework and decide whether or not you'd like to invest in Tron. Bad guys, it's what we do.